Hey guys, me again, long time no see. Um, anyway, I'm back to discuss um, see the Trinity sleep out, fallout as I call it. Now, I say fallout because they won't know there's been fallout because uh, these type of people don't give a shit. Um, so, we'll get into it anyway. So, uh, I went to tcd.ie news to see what this Trinity Sleepout was all about. And the Trinity Sleepout on September on 7th of December uh, was an event organised by Josh Littleton, who is an, M an MBE. So, that just goes to show already... Uh, where this one's coming from he's the founder of uh social bite um it was to take place in 50 venues worldwide with trinity being one of them uh 2000 people were due to take our uh, well i say are this it's where now but um were due to take to the sleeping bags in trinity square uh, the Trinity website also commented on the 178% increase in homelessness since June 2015. All well and good. Now, celebrities, Olympians, musicians, acting royalty, top broadcasters and influential politicians were to take part now. Bearing... Danny O'Donoghue from the script, I don't feel like uh, any of them are really worth talking about because it just goes to show um, how high and mighty this event uh, was believed to be. They wanted to raise uh, money for the Paul, which is a cross-border charity that deals in housing and the like for homeless people now this is all well and good you may wonder where i'm going with this you'll find out um but anyway just on an off point in 2016 that the policy at the time kerry anthony was earning eighty two thousand eight hundred and thirty one euro a year now the national wage increase has since gone up since then so i know that the new ceo is closer to the hundred thousand mark than i would like him to be and i have a tendency not to do anything but slate charities that have ceos and anything even close to that or charities that have ceos and anything even close to that so anyway the reality of um this sleep out gig that trinity college had for the homeless uh there was a group there's plenty of groups that are in dublin uh week in week out helping the homeless a lot of the time they base themselves um around the bank of ireland central bank in um college green which is basically across the road from trinity college now that's brilliant uh these people work off their own backs would give you the shirt off their own backs they feed people they they feed a lot of people um one particular group at the um friends helping friends they run a soup kitchen on college green and they reported on the night of um, this gig that only about a third and now this was at the time only about a third of the people they usually serve turned up now you may think yeah that, that's that's brilliant until you find out why only a third of these people showed up it turns out the Gardaí were turning these people away from the area because of what was going on. Now, this is a quote. Because of what was going on in Trinity. 
Uh, now, these groups use Central Bank every week because it's an open enough area. It's an open enough area to be able to feed the amount of people they feed. Uh, every Saturday night. Um, now, on this particular night, it didn't matter where these homeless people stood or where they sat, they were moved on. And this, you know, was an annoyance in itself. So they continued. Until we see now, I'm reading what the actual quote is from the Irish Examiner, I believe, or is it the Irish Independent? Either one. Um, until we've seen it with our own eyes, the homeless being moved on, no matter where they stood or sat, they were moved. The reason for this? A charity sleep out in Trinity College. People entertained by the script, plenty to eat, plenty to drink, all to raise much needed funds for a government funded charity. But the homeless were not to be seen getting fed at a soup kitchen run directly across the road just in case it upset anyone paying 18 euro a head to take part in a sleep out to raise charity to raise money for the homeless now they did say it was a very backwards country now I tend to agree with that uh, but I don't think it's about being a backwards country. I think it is about these people who, let's face it, are just trust fund babies. Um, it's, you know, elitists, uh, offspring of elitists, as you've seen the guest list. Um, it's about these people easing their conscience or are doing something of, of the like if they even have a conscience but they don't actually see the damage they're doing uh, or they don't or even the damage this event caused in the long run like they they didn't care that children went hungry that night they didn't care that the parents of these children that were there that night or that weren't there that night went homeless because they would have been there only for this fucking event that was held. Um, because if these people cared, they wouldn't be in sleeping bags in Trinity College having the guardie outside while they were raising money for the people that were outside that are never going to see this money. What they would have been doing would have been they'd all have been over in the soup kitchen or somewhere else helping these people, feeding these people putting clothes on their back if they need it, but they didn't because even though they help these people, they don't want to associate with these people. And in fact, the thing is about these charities, um, the homeless in this case, they'll never see that money because that money goes to the top in which 82,831 as of 2016, will have to uh, pay CEO and it trickles down the system till eventually, you know, after you pay your administration, you pay this, you pay that, you pay the other, until eventually it gets to the people that it's supposed to get to. And by that point, there's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. But these people don't care about that. You know, that's the problem. You have your celebrities, politicians, broadcasters, acting royalty, Olympians, and the GPA, the Gaelic Athletics, the, the GAA players, the um, Gaelic Players Association, who championed this cause. Now, from what I see, you've a crowd who should know better, really should know better, um, champion in a cause like this and to be honest after the ramifications of all this 
the likes of Danny O'Donoghue from the script, and the GA and the GPA to an extent. And all these people should be ashamed of the ramifications that this particular event caused the people in the city of Dublin um, and the specific people that they were raising all this money for that they're never going to see and they won't see, let's face it just rich little trust fund babies making themselves feel good by having a little bit of a sleep hole but you just, you have to whoop end people getting fed so you could have your little bit of um, conscience easing but there you go you know it's a completely uh, completely blacked out uh, any good that the event could have caught that the event could have uh, drummed up you know the um, whatever money you raise it's just it doesn't matter it's just blackened at this point um, but yeah that's my two cents in it all uh, um, so you know the usual drop your comments drop your insults um, drop your debates and I suppose look I'll get back to you when I can uh, that's me over and out guys thank you